also a part of Zillion, and uh, specifically of the larger national news agencies. Uh, I think we've seen a trend uh, from a business perspective to try and make revenue of, uh, of native advertising that goes by a lot of different names, sponsored content, promoted content. We use, wondering... we use paid posts. <laughs> paid posts. <clears throat> I was just wondering what your opinion was of, of this type of content and, and what you thought about the sort of uh, perhaps mixing of the news side and the business side. That's a large question, and I'll answer it. Um, here's the deal. I have a newsroom of 1,300 people, and I have bureaus all over the world, and they're truly expensive. Um, I need to make sure that those reporters who are in Kabul have the security they need. I need to make sure that if, 10, if, I, if I need to send 10 reporters to Ferguson and leave them there for a month, that I can afford to do it. So if advertising wants to create something called paid posts, and the way paid posts work, for those of you who don't, they produce content at the request of advertisers. The newsroom has nothing to do with that. So if Tiffany wants you know, a story about why diamonds are beautiful, um, the, the advertising department has writers who write that story. They're labeled as paid posts. We've always done this. We did advertorials when I was a young um, that doesn't bother me, to be honest. As long as it's labeled, as long as it's clearly not coming from people in the newsroom, I'm okay with that. I mean, I, got, I, have, to, I have to find ways, and this is you know, not easy. I, I wish I became editor of the New York Times in the era of the 30% profit margins when we said no to everything, but that was not my fate. <laughs> I landed as editor of the New York Times at a time when our finances were shaky, so I'm okay with it. 